To celebrate the 40th anniversary of Mobile Suit Gundam, Uniqlo and Gundam have collaborated on a series of graphic t-shirts as part of the Uniqlo UT collection. Here's a quick look at all the different designs that were released. As you can see, each one pays homage to the original series with iconic scenes and phrases as well as some funny moments too, some of which you may not understand as it plays off the tropes from the series. Each of these t-shirts will run you about $15, which isn't too bad in my opinion, especially since these will only be available for a limited time. Being a big fan of the Gundam series ever since I was a kid, this was a must have for me. I had to get these figurines so I ended up buying a few of the t-shirts. I was over in Japan recently so I decided to stop at Uniqlo store to check it out. In the store, they have a 2 for 1 special, which is exclusive to only Japan, meaning if you buy two of the Gundam UT t-shirts, you get one of the Gundam Gunpla figures for free. There are two Gundam Gunpla figurines to choose from. You have the RX-782 Gundam. This is the one piloted by Amuro Ray in the anime, and you also have the MX-06S Zaku 2, which is piloted by my favorite character in the series. Char Aznable. Each of the Gunpla are decked out in the unique little red and white color scheme. For new fans or new types out there, watch the anime and you'll get that reference, who want to get into Mobile Suit Gundam. Well, not physically of course. I wish I could get into a Gundam. I definitely recommend checking out the original series and movies that came out in the late 70s and early 80s. These are pretty much what the t-shirts are based off of. If you want something a bit more modern, check out Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. It's an OVA series that came out back in 2015 and aired into 2018. This is a prequel anime that dives a bit more into the background history leading up to the original series. It does a great deep dive into Shar's character especially. If you're into Game of Thrones, you should definitely enjoy Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, since it's not just about robot fights, but also about politics, backstabbing, and character manipulation. No incest though, you don't have to worry about that. Alright, to be honest, I wasn't a fan of most of the shirt designs, this is just due to personal preferences. I'm a bit more of a minimalist when it comes to his fashion. A few of the graphic t-shirts just didn't really catch my eye either. I ended up narrowing it down to a few. I chose the RX White Pocket t-shirt, the Black Gundam 40th Anniversary Mosaic t-shirt, and also the Dark Blue Zaku Pocket t-shirt. The t-shirts are made of 100% cotton, meaning if you don't cold wash it, they will shrink over time, so try to keep that in mind for maintenance purposes. Unless, of course, you prefer the tight muscle fit, then go right ahead and shrink it. You also get a cool 40th anniversary mosaic tag with the t-shirts as well. The t-shirts themselves, like most Uniqlo t-shirts, are form-fitting, especially around the core and chest, with some breathing space around the arms. I do prefer the sleeves to be a bit more tight around the arms, but that's just a personal preference for me. If you have worn shirts from H&M, it's very similar in terms of fitting. The t-shirt themselves are mostly for casual occasions, obviously. I can wear it on most days when I'm off, but probably not to the office. Unless it's Gundam Appreciation Day, of course. I wish that was a thing. Depending on your style, in terms of outfits, you have a few options to go for with all the designs. They were worth the purchase in my opinion, just due to me being a fan of the franchise, so it was definitely a must-have. These graphic t-shirts might not be for everyone, though. For those who aren't fans, I can see the overall designs of most of the t-shirts being deterrents. And unless you know the anime, you will probably not get any of the references they are making with some of the t-shirts either. So this will probably be a pass for non-Gundam fans out there. Okay, for real though. Truthfully, I bought these for the two free Gunpla figurines. These are the 1 144 scale models, so not the biggest ones out there. And since they were free, the plastic quality isn't superb compared to the more higher tier versions. By the way, these have to be assembled and it took me about 20 minutes for each figurine. The body is movable and the manual that comes in the box has some cool action poses that you can try to mimic as well. Well, I'm going to go play with them now. So as always, thanks for watching and until next time, I'm out. Oh yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you haven't already. Thanks!